speaking of playing, this was going to be the uh, the semi professional, no, not even semi professional. What are we? Just rec league. We are guess. regular human beings who are able to somewhat kick a ball decently well. Retired college players still playing right. soccer. So right. you said you. Let's hear about your uh, story. What happened? Man, talk about being like fuming, dude. I shouldn't. I even after the fact, I was like, I should not be this mad about it. But it's just. It's those type of things that kind of get under your skin because you're still that competitive person and you still want to have a little bit of competitive edge. I mean, I'm at the point now where I don't really enjoy playing in environments where people are taking it too seriously just because, I mean, I started playing when I was three. I stopped playing in like a serious environment when I was like 24. Mm -hmm. So you spend all that time working and like working, working, working to keep up and put yourself in the best position to succeed at these levels. And then you get to a point where I'm at now where I'm like, I kind of just want to play for fun. Mm -hmm. So I play at this little indoor spot right, uh, right across the street from me. It's, it's cool. Like it's kind of whatever met a few guys there, joined a league team. It's all in good fun. Mm -hmm. Or so I thought, <laughs> so we had a game. <laughs> We had a game this past Wednesday, and we're in the A League. Not to toot my own horn, but we're in the top division. Right. So you're coming up against guys who are former Division One players, and they played at IU, um, Indiana University. So Indiana University, for anyone that's familiar with college soccer, is like a really good school to play at. So okay. a lot of guys, they're in their 30s or whatever, but they're still good players. We weren't playing a team like that this this week. We were playing a team with like some high school heroes on it and um we're up six four and there's maybe five minutes left in the game i get the ball free kick just got fouled play it back to the keeper keeper gets the ball cut with his feet guy comes and presses wins the ball scores six five whatever we still like we're in a good spot we win the game i sub myself out because i'm like let's get these other guys on because I'm not the type of guy, can it, don't even get me started on this, the guys who will stay in for 10, 15 minutes and not like rotate in and out mm -hmm. um, and then bring their girlfriends to the games. Mm -hmm. I mean, Joey, I don't know about you, but I'm just there to kind of ball. No, I, I yeah, Allie will sometimes come on like Sundays just to right. hang out. It's a nice right. day, but exactly but i'm not I'm like talking, trying to show out for her or anything <laughs> i'm talking i'm talking full fan sections oh no 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 but anyways we ended up it all fell apart after that because a mistake like that you kind of just like head in hands you don't know what to do whatever this guy who definitely it seemed as though had they like i had seen him at a few pickup games during the week, like he'll play and whatever. I didn't, I didn't know he was on any league teams or whatnot. It seemed like they had just added him maybe, like he wasn't getting on with the guys well, but chirping the entire time, their whole bench was chirping at the ref the entire time. I was like, God, what are we doing, man? Like they were diving in an indoor game, like That's looking for foul. Right. And I was like, what? so this guy, six, six, right? It's tied now. Oh, so they scored, they tied it up? Tied it up. And they got a seventh, right? They take the seven six lead. He had the assist on it. So he's kind of feeling himself now. Didn't do anything the whole game. Starting to feel himself now. And again, I feel so stupid even getting like upset about this. But he gets the eighth goal at the very end to close it out. He goes, LeBron James celebration. No. Cut the neck <laughs> his tongue and then sticks his tongue out. Ah, like that. And I I'm not even kidding. Yelled out to him. Dude, you're like 35. What are we doing? Let's just say it didn't get a very good reaction out of everyone that was there. But it's just those types of things. Just There's not a whole lot of stuff. I couldn't believe it. There's not a whole lot of stuff that upsets me and like gets me like heated. I couldn't believe it. Not a whole lot of things that get me heated in life. I'm pretty mellow. But stuff like that, just people taking themselves way too seriously, can't stand it. That's insane, dude. That's he, was he actually like 35 years old? Dude. I don't know how old he was, but he's too old to be doing that. Like, <laughs> I don't That's... care. Dude, you're playing indoor soccer on a Wednesday night at 10.30 p.m. You have to yeah. wake up the next morning and go to your day job. Hey, how was your night last night? It was awesome, man. You should have seen me. What are we doing? 
<laughs> what are we doing? I feel like Taylor Twelman. What are we doing? Oh my gosh, dude. No, that is that's infuriating, David. Dang. Well, yeah, sounds like you had a an eventful Wednesday. It's definitely an experience. You gotta tell me about your uh your DC life of your outdoor intramural or whatever, or co ed, or I don't know if it's co ed, but so I'll set the scene. Thursday right. night sevens league play and it's just every thursday we play seven aside um and last night was playoffs so you have the semifinals, and if you win that you obviously go to the finals and we were playing dcfc which is kind of like they're definitely the best team in the league they're like one of the best teams in the area they um they won like at least one or two games in the open cup last year so like they're they're pretty solid that's not bad what'd you say i said that's not bad at all it's actually pretty impressive yeah so I mean, it's obviously just like for fun. It's nothing serious, but like they, they're a solid team. Um, and we've I've been in the like league for like two years now and never beaten them in sevens or elevens or anything. So solid team. Um, but we go into the semifinal against them, and after about ten minutes, they score. They're up one zero. I'm like, all right, this this could go one or two ways. You know, like this could open the floodgates, or we'll somehow like scrape a one one, and it goes after the final whistle straight to PKs. So that's what happens. Right yeah. before the end of the first half, I get the ball on the left left side, dribble in, goal, golazo. No, of course you did. It, it was a decent goal, just cut back. Um, you know, it reminds me of, do you remember Neymar's first goal against Croatia at the 2014 World Cup? Oh, you're testing me right now. Just cutting across the top of the box, like parallel to the goal and kind of just a roller to the uh, like front post, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's one of those ones where like it's opening up perfectly, like curl it to the back post, and you can just catch everyone off guard by kind of reversing it back to that front post. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, tied it up 1-1 at halftime. Um, then play out all the second half 1-1. Like, it was, it was intense. We had a lot of chances. They had a lot of chances. I think 1-1 in the end was like a fair result. So it goes to PKs. They go first. Oh, mind you. We have our buddy Ryan, usually a center mid, playing in goal. So we somehow only concede one goal the whole game. Go to PKs. He blocks the first one. Our guy steps up, scores. They step up, score. Our guy steps up, scores. Their guy steps up, scores. And it's only three. And then it goes to sudden death. And then who steps up but your boy to take the third? I walk up there. I set the ball down. The ref blows his whistle. I still don't know which way I'm going to (laughs) go. I'm like... (laughs) What's going to happen here? I run up, I shoot, I score. It was a fine penalty, but I went to my teammates afterwards, and I was like, I blacked out. I was like, which way did I go? Like, I literally... Pressure was too much for you. The pressure was far too much for you. It was, but, I mean, I put it in the back of the net, thankfully, but I literally, I didn't remember. I blacked out. I didn't know which way I went. But So we we made it to the final. That was nice. Um, Get to the final. We It's another good team. Um, Wait, so you beat that team? We beat them. We won on PKs. There you go. Yeah. So, beat them. There you go. Yeah, finally beat them. Go to the final against Gorilla. Um, so they're a solid team. They're all like, they're tall and like skillful. Um, and it's a good first half. You know, I, I hit the crossbar once, um, but then with literally 30 seconds left in the first half, they score. And I was like, God damn it. I was like, that's it. Um, we, I just, I didn't have a lot of faith. Um, but then second half, we're playing and with like 10 minutes left, they score, make it 2-0, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. All right, it's, it's over. It's over. Yeah. I was like, We're not going to score two or three with 10 minutes left. But then Jamie, um, my buddy, scores, puts us 2-1. I'm like, okay, we're back in this. We got a shot. About seven minutes left. I was like, we can do this. So then I get the ball on, like, the left side of the field. I'm, like, kind of like the last defender. There's one of my teammates, like, square to me. Um, so I go to pass it to my teammate horrible pass i passed it like right to their attacker they go one-on-one with the keeper score put us put them put us down three one and i was like okay well that's it now that's it it happens but no there's more we score another one three two and we're like okay we are back in this and with like four minutes left our left back steve pings long ball across the field to billy who like in steps it back across, like kind of like a cross. But do you remember Vertonghen's goal against Japan, the header that just like loops over? Yeah. It's basically that. Comes in, hits the post in 3 3. And we're like, oh my gosh, we did it. We're about to take this to PKs in the final. Like, this is insane. We just got to hold on. 
for like two more minutes. So we're just playing defense backs against the wall. And, uh, you know, they get like three or four corners in a row. We just can't, we keep clearing it back out for corners. Finally, we clear it. It comes to me. I'm about 30 yards out, space in front of me, one defender. And I have like two teammates streaking along, basically like a 3v1. And I'm just going, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. Screw it. Just pings it. Top left corner, 4-3. Champions, baby. Let's go. Dude, it's the small go. things in life. It's the small things in life. Are we talking? You know what I, so I ping into the top left corner. I run to the sideline. I go. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best day of my life, dude. Uh, that's best day of my life. Um, 